Now, Collective, this is a bonus reading for Cancer. I just loaded up the uh, love readings and the abundance readings. And today I was called to give uh, a bonus reading for, uh, let's see, I did Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Cancer. Um, and I'm glad that I decided to listen because the stuff that came out for all of those signs was like above and beyond. And when spirit tells you to do stuff, you listen, right? Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides, for your inspiration, your wisdom, your guidance, your protection, and above all, for your presence. So, Cancer, we're going to jump right in here. Again, um, I just uploaded, you know, the love readings for the week and the abundance readings. And so we're just going to call this like a Cancer, a bonus Cancer check-in. Okay, so I, I hope that someone out there benefits from this. Um, wow. Uh, I think a lot of signs have been going through a little bit of crazy stuff. I'm not going to say what cards keep coming up because if you watch the readings, you'll see that signs keep getting the cards and I don't want to throw that out there. We'll see what comes up in your room. This is a bonus for cancer. This is a check-in. What can you give us for cancer spirit? Thank you. Okay. Exchange energy to exchange energy to create abundance. And this is the funny thing, Cancer. When I finished your abundance reading, I was cleaning up the cards. Okay. And this card had flipped over in the deck and I didn't see it. So this is basically your extended on the abundance. Okay. We'll see what else comes in. What they're basically saying here, Cancer, is you can have all the love inside of you that you can possibly fit, but you have to get out there and exchange energy. You have to have experiences to learn and to grow, which is what we're all meant to do. Uh, I know that can be scary, especially cancers are kind of homebodies, but that's what we're called to do, especially if we're on this divine path of learning and growing. Um, so you're kind of being called out here, cancer, whatever that looks like for you. Um, just hearing you need to get out into the world a little bit more, and that means physically, Okay, um, for some of you that might be in your head trying to figure out whether you should move or not, you're being told to grow in your current situation. The wise one, you're gaining wisdom, whatever you're doing right now, you're gaining wisdom. Yeah, and intending create. Now I'm going to check the cards and it's a good thing I did because one more had flipped up in here and I didn't see it. So I learned my lesson, Cancer. See your seeds grow. So that's kind of why you're being called to sit here now. Okay. And this could be um, a spiritual situation. It could be a physical situation. Just one second. I'm going to open this door. This, that Palo Santo just got a little bit strong. And I'm in a closed room because I have a cat that goes crazy. All right. Okay. Cancer. Let's get into it. Why? Spirit, did you have me do this reading for cancer? What do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit. What can you give me for cancer, please? What do they need to know? Thank you so much. Okay, three of swords here. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's going on with you, cancer. I remember your love reading and your abundance reading, but I'm going to see what's coming in here. Okay, we also have the ten of swords. We have the death card. Yep, 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 yep. And I'm going to tell you that this is what's happening in almost every sign I've read here. Okay, maybe not the exact same cards, but the death card and another card keeps coming up. So whatever we're all doing as a collective, we're in this process of kind of being tested. Did we graduate? Are we leveling up? Do we need to go through this stuff again? Or it's simply saying that, um, you know, you've recently been through this experience Okay, where you were betrayed. I mean, you don't get 10 swords in your back over nothing. This was a highly volatile situation. It must have meant a lot to you or it wouldn't have hurt so badly. Right? It wouldn't. I mean, I feel like this crushed you. Okay, so um, and this is the card of new beginnings. Okay, so I feel like you're kind of been moving on from there. Yes, yes, yes. And this is why I say that, because the next out is the world card. 
What did I say about doing this energy exchange? You're being called to get out in the world. You're being called to move forward. Doesn't mean location necessarily, right? Whatever situation that is. Maybe you are involved in kind of building a tribe that's really awesome right now. It could be an online tribe, right? But you are being called to move forward, which is part of this energy exchange. Get out into the world. You're going to be into some celebrations here. Okay? Right? Three of Cups, celebrations, and there's a King of Wands in this picture. Now, let's read a little bit more here. What do we got for Cancer, please? King of Wands is the king that grows things and nurtures, which Cancer, if this is a partner that's coming in for you, would be a fantastic partner because you need nurture, right? You need somebody that values what the love that you bring into the world, and you certainly bring love, okay? We've got the Hangman here. Let's see, Cancer, what is going on with you? Okay. Hmm. Maybe you saw this person as a king of wands. I'm getting for somebody. Okay. You, I, for somebody, and it is not going to resonate with all of you because I see do, two different scenarios here. For somebody, I feel like this is this past person here. Okay. This king of wands is what this is all about. And either you're thinking about them or you're going to run into them or something like that. Okay, and they just have had you kind of hanging here, not knowing what to do, like really highly, maybe not confused, but just stagnating going like, you know, I feel like there's been a lot of on and off energy here. Okay, before I finish that with the other scenario, I feel like this could be the new person coming in, you're going to meet them at a celebration. So we're all different people. There's a lot of things going on with a lot of different cancers out there. So take what resonates, leave the rest for those that benefit. In any case, every cancer's got opportunities coming in and they've got the chariot. You're being told to move forward, whatever this looks like for you. Okay. I've got the eight of cups. I see you walking away from a situation. Okay. That has been hindering you. You're walking away into the world here. Okay, these cups are, they might be all shiny and, you know, actually they're kind of dingy compared to these, but they're lined up, they're, they're like empty. For you, they're empty. And I see you walking away and moving forward. Oh my goodness, couldn't make it up right into the Hierophant. Okay, <laughs> you also have a King of Swords here. So we have the Hierophant the King of Wands, and the King of Swords. Now, on one scenario, I see you dealing with the King of Swords back here. Okay, highly abrasive, abrupt, and when not balanced, unstable can be like abusive, narcissistic. Okay, and I feel like you guys brought a bunch of love to the situation, and I feel like a lot of you were kind of stuck in some illusions about that. Okay, and they're, you know, like the universe is calling, hey, 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 okay, in all fairness, cancer put all this in, yes, you know, they learned their lessons and all this kind of stuff, right, we learned a bunch of lessons here, cancer, about betrayal, about illusions, about projecting our stuff onto other people, I'm hearing, okay, stuff that's not really there, like it was in your head, you didn't see the reality of it, okay, because the reality was, is you were dealing pretty much with the King of Swords all the time that maybe had this energy to pull you in, okay? And you're getting a King of Wands. It's going to be like a flip out, okay? So that's that scenario. The other scenario is it's reminding you, okay, you have beasted up here, right? Okay, you're coming off in this Hierophant energy, all right? You may have people around you like this, or you may be containing these. And that's kind of what I'm getting. Like you've encapsulated these energies. You've learned how to nurture yourself. You've kinged out on learning your boundaries and you've pulled that in to move forward. Okay. And we all have divine feminine and divine masculine energies within us. And I feel like some of you have just like bossed up and pulled that together. Okay. And that that's your energy. So a couple different scenarios there. And you need to remember that so that you don't get caught up in this stuff. 
you have moved past, you've learned the lessons, right? You don't need to be doing this anymore. Okay, take that, take that healthy King of Swords energy and combine that with the wands and turn into this Hierophant, right? Let's see what else we got for Cancer. Thank you, Spirit. I'm glad you had me do this reading. I appreciate you. We now understand. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. Validation again on the Three of Cups. Okay, I've got the Four of Pentacles here. I feel like you're, you guys are moving out into the world. I, you guys had this in the Abundance reading as well, Cancer. I'm going to move these so you can see these. Okay. Um, energy exchange. Okay. It's like, okay, I've got my pentacles, but the bazaar's over here and she's not trading. Like she's, she's on, literally on the other side of the fence here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a fence and she's on the other side of the fence from town. So how can she sell her wares and get her pentacles if her eyes are closed, right? And she's not even at the bazaar. So you need to get to the bazaar, cancer. Okay, and you need to deal with the emotions. You need to keep practicing and processing those emotions so that you can get comfortable. Okay, find some friends to hang out with. Okay, um, call some old friends, find some new friends, go out and listen to some music and meet some people, right? Thank you, angels. Thank you, guys. What else do we have for our catalytic cancers? <laughs> Okay, way too many cards. I am going to take the Six of Cups. Yeah, we've got the Lovers. Yeah, these are literally the same cards that were coming up in your other reading. Temperance, Strength. Okay. Yep, don't be scared of that Love Card Cancer, especially if you've gone through this. Okay, because what you're telling me is that you've bossed up here. Okay, you have bossed up. There's no need to be concerned. Okay. Right? You can deal with these emotions. This Hierophant can deal with anything. It's a card of fairness. Okay? So deal with these emotions. Move forward. Get out there. Trade some energy. Okay? Yep. Because <laughs> if you want it, it's going to be there for you. If you want this, okay, it's there for you. And it's, it's going to be awesome. I, I said this in your love reading. You have so much love and abundance coming towards you once you move past this stuff. Once you make the decision. I hear like you have to make the decision. Yep. Ace of Cups. Again, same cards. Okay. Uh, where was... Yeah, where was that king here that I was talking about? Okay. Right. Remember, I told you I felt for some of you, this is what was coming. You're letting go of that King of Swords and you're pulling in this King of Wands. And there you've got the Queen. There's the match. Anything else for Cancer, please? Again, you can encapsulate these energies, but know that you are going to have an option in love. And I really believe that it's this nurturing, building energy. And I think it's, I, for I remember from your abundance reading, it's turning into like heaps and heaps of pentacles. Yep. Okay. You're on the borderline here. All right. You're ready to harvest, but you're not sure. You're kind of, you're looking out at the world and you're on top of it. You need to go for it. I just feel like you keep going back and forth here. Right. Get around people in the community. Literally, these are the exact same cards that were coming in. You've got Queen of Cups. You've got the Hermit. It's like you're going back and forth in this energy. And that's okay. If that's your process, that's fine. Just maybe know, okay, that you need to move forward and use all this abundance that's coming out as like inspiration to do that. It's okay, it's okay to go back and forth here as long as you're managing these emotions, okay? Right? It's okay to be doing that as long as you're taking care to manage the emotions and keep moving forward. So, Cancer, hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, honoring me with letting me do these readings for you. I wholeheartedly appreciate it. Take good care of yourself, Cancer. Take good care, okay? Yourself first, then go out and take care of others and be kind out there. <laughs>